So before I get into this video, I did want to say that I was messing with audio settings um, mainly because I have a problem with my mic picking up everything and it got super choppy with the settings that I had picked. But as you can see now, I have it fixed and it won't be like this in the future and I apologize. What's going on everybody? We are back with another, is it worth it? Uh, for this one, I'm gonna do the turn to this BMAC box compared to six loose booster packs. Um, there's six cards in here, of course, but you get a Jumbo VMAX Eternatus, a normal Eternatus VMAX, and a, and a uh, Eternatus V, and that's a full art. Uh, you get a giant token, and you get a pin as well. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna be completely honest here. I think this box 100% is worth it. Uh, compared to Vivid Voltage, you get so much value out of this. Eternatus V Max is like, at least from the last time I looked, is a staple card and competitive as of right now. And also, these promo cards are beautiful. So, in my opinion, as of right now, this box is worth it compared to just some loose packs. Um, and a lot of people have it on sale for like 25 to 30 dollars now instead of 40 so let's dig into this and then we can see if we get any good poll all right um so this is gonna be another bit where i'm talking and then we'll get into the normal uh being quiet and then opening packs uh, so in this box, you get this jumbo card, and it is very, very. I don't know when it comes to when it comes to jumbo cards. I do prefer this version where it's not huge, and they don't warp as much. Plus, this card just looks amazing, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, you get these beautiful promos. Uh, let me see if I can get this to focus. There we go. So this is the VMAX. Uh, really, really nice card. And then... And then this is the V. This, this full art is gorgeous in my opinion. <clears throat> you get this token. You get this pin. Pretty nice pin. All of... The pins that Pokemon puts out are really nice quality. I'm going to get these sleeved up. Unfortunately, I will not be giving away the code for the box just because I do play online. But the codes for all the booster packs I will be giving. So. But as well, you get Darkness Ablaze pack. You get a Rebel Clash. You get a Burning Shadows. You get a, another Darkness of Lakes. Sword and Shield base. And then Evolution. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. We will be comparing these six packs. The Vivid Voltage. So, this is going to be a pain. And a half. Um, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to be quiet unless I pull something crazy. So, enjoy.
Hey, well, this is, let me just get into this. This is what the normal VMAX looks like. Get that zoomed in there. This is what the normal one looks like. And then this is what the pro. So just different artwork, different colors. And go ahead and tell me what you like more. I don't even think I pulled this card. <laughs> I haven't bought this card yet. Dude, yes. This box has been amazing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, ruined that for you guys. Sorry about that. Absolute insane. Hold this year.
All right, um, so let's get into this. Uh, so not only did I think the Eternatus box was better, um, it ended up giving me more more value as well. Um, we got Rillaboom. We got this amazing Hollow Gyarados. We got Snorlax V Max. We got Eternatus V Max along with the two promos um, from the six Vivid Voltage. This is what we got. Um, I will also say that they weren't blister packs they were just the loose packs that came out of the booster box that every lgs so um but yeah nonetheless if you see an eternatus box pick it up um you get the two darkness ablaze because that's when the box came out when darkness ablaze was the new set but also you get an array of other packs as well but yeah in my opinion, the the Eternus V Max box is 100% worth it. Um, we got way more value whole wise out of it as well. And yeah, final thoughts: pick it up. It's better than buying the the loose um, Vivid Voltage pack. So hope you enjoyed the video. We'll hopefully have another one here soon. And see you guys next time.